Hey, this is Dr. Amanda from Straight Smile Solutions, and today we'll be going over stainless steel ties or ligature ties, how to put on a ligature tie, how to choose what type of ligature tie you need. Um, let me go over the armamentarium first. So I'm going to be going over two different types of ligature ties today. We're going to be going over shorties and long ties. So they work fundamentally the same way. Find out which one works best for you. If you start doing some research, you're going to notice the shorties and the long ties come in a variety of different gauges, um, maybe as thin as o, I think it's 090. Um, you also have 010, 011, or 012. I generally use 010. I figure it's right in the middle. Um, that's just my personal preference. Obviously, the smaller the gauge, the easier it's going to be to put on, but more likely it's probably less secure. It's going to hold the wire. So just find what works best in your hands. So I'll show you how I do it. Personally, my preference, and these have a variety of different functions, but what we're going to be talking about today is how to engage, like let's say you just bonded, and let's say you got a tooth that's a little bit deflected, um, and a wire's a little tricky to hold in fully and securely um, with an elastomeric tie, or maybe the patient's going away for a couple months and you don't want to have some gross elastomeric ties on, you want it to be more secure, that's why I'd use um, a stainless steel tie. Synonym for stainless steel tie might be quick tie. Some people you call it that. Some people call them steel ties. Stainless steel ties, SST, SSQT, lots of different ways to do it. Okay, so I'm going to be going over shorties and longies today. So this is just what I call them. This is a shorty. Okay, grab it with your mouth all plier. This is your armamentarium here. Other things that you're going to need are a pin cutter or ligature cutter. And personally, I also like a ligature director if you do not have nails. Nails are the free version of ligature director. Well, maybe not. They're kind of expensive, but they are the best thing in ortho. So basically, keep in mind, I'm doing this like leaning over and not on a patient, so it's a little more tricky. But what I do is I grab it, and then I kind of bend the end a little bit in, just like kind of curve it. That's just how I do it. And then I'm going to go ahead and engage it either with my nail or with a ligature director. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, this might be kind of tricky. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get around all the wings. See, I did it. Oops, except it's not in the slot. Is it in the slot? Nope. Again, I do this much better when I'm sitting in a dental chair. So, okay, get that in there. So the main thing is to have it grip. Okay, that's it. I'm going to do it not in front of the camera so that I can actually get it to have it grip all four wings. You gotta grab all four wings. And then once you get around all four wings, you're gonna go ahead and start twisting it. Okay, am I around all four wings now? Yes, I am. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start twisting it. And make sure you're pulling it nice and tight. There shouldn't be any flash at the end. And keep twisting it, okay? until you start to see the wire double back on itself, which is basically what's happening right now. See, it's starting to become like a pigtail. If you keep, if you twist it too much, what's gonna happen is that it's just gonna break. So let me hold it a little further down. Okay, so once you start to see it double back on itself, which is what it's doing already, then you're gonna go ahead and stop. You're gonna get your pin cutter, and you're gonna cut it with a little flash at the end, okay? So you shouldn't cut it flush, otherwise it's going to unravel. With a little flash at the end, and then we'll teach you how to tuck it under. And there's the flash right there, you can see that. This is where the ligature director is really great. You're gonna go ahead and tuck it under the wire, and then you always instruct the patient that if it comes out or becomes pokey, to, I say, I tell them to use a pencil eraser to tuck it back under. That's the safest way. They can't really mess anything up. It's not sharp now. You can see it. It's not sharp at all. But you want to go ahead and, again, nail is great. Go ahead and push it down. So that's how you use a ligature tie, a shorty. The long ones work fundamentally the same way. You're just going to go ahead and take one out. If I can do it. Just one. And I'm Sometimes it's great if you can package these separately so you're not grabbing these with your gloves. And grab it the same way as you did the other one. For me, these are kind of cumbersome just for a single tooth. I use these for other things like um, anchorage. But if I, if I only have this, then I'm gonna go ahead and clip it maybe halfway down so it's not so long and it's not flying in the patient's eyeball. Um, 
I'll go like this and I'll do the same thing where I'll grab it and I'll preform it and grab it. So still works. So that's how you go ahead and stainless steel tie a tooth. It's really simple, very, very easy. Again, always check it with your glove, make sure it's not catching, give the patient the instructions to go ahead and tuck it back under with a pencil eraser or, you know, you can give them a proxy brush or something else that they can do it that's a little more hygienic. Um, but that's it. And we'll be going over another time later how to lace back or long tie. That's a whole other video. All right. Thanks so much. Don't forget, this is part of our digital course. So if you want to sign up for our digital course, please visit straightsmilesolutions.com. All right.